Black Girl Stuff. Eva Marcel, welcome to the BGS house. Yes, thank you welcome. so much thank for having you. me, ladies. Yes, thank We're you for so being here. We're so excited to have yes. you. Okay, Eva, now the world was introduced to you through America's Next Top Model, and we loved you on there. One of my favorites yeah. and one of the most memorable cast members for sure. Yes. But in recent years on Social Media University, you know, they've been <laughs> slamming. <laughs> they've been slamming Tyra Banks and the entire show for some really pivotal moments. Tyra taught me. She didn't break me. She built me. So she I don't know. sure did, honey. I was on. America's Next oh, Top yeah. Model. Are you? Ooh. Cycle 11, but you was oh, way before on, me, so you set the tone, okay? Oh my set goodness, the tone. come on, Alonso. Set the tone, okay? No, we're in a sorority. Yes, Once we are. Once I model, always top model. We are, matter. but my experience wasn't your experience. But I'm glad you had your experience because it taught me a lot about the industry. So. Yes, girls, girls. God bless, girls. okay? Yes. You also made your mark on another show, Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> so we got to yes. talk about how they portray black women on yes. these TV shows. How do you yes. feel about that? Oh, it is so frustrating. Okay, so I am a very simple hood girl from yes. South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> not to be confused, I'm not from Hollywood. Hollywood was a f so f sign far, far away from my house. Mm. So I'm a simple girl. And I thought that because I came on the scene on Top Model, you saw how rough around the edges I was. You saw that I was not a refined girl, though they let me be a cover girl. I thought when I went on Housewives, they realized that I was 15 years of this chick. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm very her, and I'm still her. I love it. And so I thought that they wanted that same, like me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm also a mother now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've also been through life. It's ups, it's downs, it's very down downs. And now I'm trying to do the best that I can with what I have. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think they wanted something from me on the show that wasn't authentic. I think when... Atlanta gets to be filmed in its truest authenticity, its truest authenticity, which is that every black woman is different, everyone wakes up different. And how that looks, I think that we will elevate because the women that I know on Housewives in Atlanta, they're all different. They're not just one way. Not everybody has a room full of wigs. Not everyone has a glam room. Right. Not everyone is putting on Balenciaga boots to walk outside the house. They're just, they're, they're not. Yeah. And I think to elevate the culture is to tell the other girls that don't have it or don't want to do it that they still fly even if they right. don't do it. And but I the show that. doesn't show that. Yeah. Like, you, you kind of got to be driven. Let's talk about your role, Miss Marilyn, honey. Yes. We living for sis, okay? Deville. She's a complete boss yes. lady. Thank you. But we want to know, in your real life, how do you, like, incorporate those roles? Are, are they incorporated? Are you that boss lady in real life? So I think there is a piece of uh, Marilyn, Madam Deville, and all of us. Mm. Mm. Like, and literally, as I look at each of you women, there is a piece of Marilyn. It's a determination that was birthed in us through our lineage mm -hmm. as black women. I think it's that woman king that we have innately. Yes. And then it's being in this world of no's. Yeah. And I don't know about y'all, but the one word Eva hates more than anything is no. Mm -hmm. Girl, mm. it hurts. Most women I know, especially black women, that's our, that's our, do not, right. don't tell me no. No makes me want What does yes. that even mean? Tell right. me, let's see, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Let me think about, don't tell me no, because that no is my next step yep. on top to mm -hmm. find that yes. To show yep. you why yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna get my yes. yes. So there is th that in me, I think that there's that in everyone, but that is who Madam is. Right. Madam does not take no. She decided, this business chose her. Her grandmother was a gangster, her grandmother mm -hmm. was a Madam. She ran a cleaning business in the daytime, and she pimped at night. Like, that oh, was her life. Lit. Her dad was a full gangster. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all he did. So that's the life she learned. Mm -hmm. And then she decided to go to college and get educated and went to school for business and then decided to open up all of these businesses and take over all of her daddy's work. Yes. And so Matt is a gangster, and she works in a world with a whole lot of men, and they usually rule it. And, you know, the bigger one and Madam got the biggest one on the table, okay. always. I so being in the world with all these men, cause some, some of them kind of sexy. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. So Call how is it for Marilyn to even like be in that environment where like you got to be the boss and you and you can't like? You I have three brothers and no sisters, so I was raised by and around men. Mm. Like my brother was the captain of the football team, oh, weight yeah. room. So it was always fine as niggas coming mm. through outside squat and I'm putting a little thing on trying to squat myself. <laughs> but I've, I have been around fine men, 
the my whole, whole life. life. There's nothing exciting. It's like, oh, it's okay. Been I, there, did well, that. I think what it is is the fact that I'm, I'm raising now my young boys to become these fine men mm. later on in the world. And there's something about the characters that these men play on the show. They're more than just beautiful men. Right. As you are so much more than, as you are drop dead gorgeous, sis. You are. Mm -hmm. But you're so much more than you are pretty. Yeah. So you are, there's so much, there's a fire in you. There's so much more to you than you're pretty. So much more to you than you're pretty. Mm -hmm. And you too. And same thing with these men. They fine as hell. Yeah. And they be, they be pop, pop, pop in that little, some of them <laughs> fake thing. Some th things don't be fake. Right. Just, Maybe in your some face. Some things is fake. Don't and believe the hype on TV. Are you serious with me right now? Did God really do this? No, no, and they're just there. I mean, I've had a scene, I walked in, I completely forgot that his whole thing was supposed to be out. And I'm completely in character, and he just <laughs> And I was like, okay, and the next line was, I love my job. So right. it worked out well. <laughs> but I was like, whoa. Yeah. But I think more than anything, I don't objectify these men, because I, as a woman, Imagine a reverse. My head just can't go there because my because I have brothers. Like I look at them like I look at my brothers. You know that's why I check them the way I do too. Like mm -hmm. I son these niggas because they're my sons. They my little you know okay. what I mean. Boss lady. Boy, Eva, we literally could talk to you all day. Yes. You have been dropping gems and just a wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking with you. I want you guys to like seriously, seriously blow up. Stay oh, authentic, you. stay yourselves, don't ever change. And this platform for black women is so necessary yeah. because yeah. there is not a lot of places where we don't have to code switch. Mm -hmm. We can be our unapologetic black selves. Yeah. Stay you mm -hmm. and keep this room as open as you have for other black women to feel this free. Thank you. Now, BGS fam, you can all watch all new episodes of All the Queen's Men streaming now on BET+. Plus.